We're going to draw a triangle, and here are the dimensions that we have to use, the lengths, the angles. Your first step in this situation, don't follow it in order, by the way. I'm going to draw GH first, and GH has to be 7 centimeters. I would label it G H. That's done. The next thing I would do is make angle H. Angle H, since we're the line's going to the left, I'm going to use the outside numbers on this protractor. And it's 55 degrees. And the and this line is H. This next one is HI. It's 75 millimeters, which is 7.5 centimeters. So here's how I would do something like this. Here's a little trick you can do. I would put this line right at 7.5, right here. And I would line it up here. So it looks like this, and I would go right to the zero. Yeah, I am slightly off, so my measurements will be a little bit off, but that's human error for you. And now I have to label this I. My last step is very easy. Just join these two. Doesn't matter how long this line is, because it's not asking for this line. So you just join them. And you should always label what it asks of you, 55 degrees. Okay, so there are the labels right there. And that's how you would draw a triangle like this. So we're constructing a quadrilateral now. And this is the name of the quadrilateral, the, the points. And there are four because a quadrilateral has four sides. Okay, that comes from the quad. With angle, with angle Q is 80, PQ 3 centimeters, QR 5 centimeters, angle R is 100, RS is 3 centimeters. Now I know that's a lot of information to take in right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to find one of the things that we can draw. Doesn't matter. I would start with the sides always with the sides first so i'm going to start with pq it's the first one let's do it so it's this has to be three centimeters long so pq is three centimeters long i'm just going to label it p i'm going to label it q and i'm going to anticipate that i have made a few mistakes along the way so don't be discouraged this is done now that PQ is done, I can solve for, I can do angle Q, and it's 80 degrees. So I'm going to do it right here. Angle Q is 80 degrees. So since the line is on the left, you use the outside. And there we go, 80 degrees. And this line here, angle Q, is going to be this line here, QR, and it's going to be 5 centimeters. So I'm going to join it at 5 centimeters. Oh, would you look at that? It's so close. Very good. Okay. So I'm just going to erase this top part here. There you go. So I'm going to label this R. And the next thing it's asking is R has to be 100 degrees. So this is something I would just flip the page with. I, since I don't know how long this is going to be, I'm just going to draw a line for now. I'm not going to make it too long, just a little bit longer. Is this 100 degrees? It is. There you go. Very close. It's slightly off. Human error. I did make a little mistake, but it's about 100 degrees. RS, so this has to be S over here, needs to be 3 centimeters. So let's measure 3 centimeters from the end here. 
and three centimeters is right here. So I'm going to erase that extra line that I drew. And now I have to join this because it is a quadrilateral. We need to join it. So what we do know is that RS is three centimeters. Angle Q, 80, 80 degrees. And angle R right here is 100 degrees. So now if we look at the other angles inside, which is the bottom part here, is basically us telling, it's telling us what to do. Measure the size and angles of the polygon you constructed in part C. What do you notice? Well, you're going to notice that these sides here, SP is about 5 centimeters. RQ, or QR, doesn't matter, is also five centimeters. So you would label that. And inside, you're going to see that the angles are the same as well. Angle S is 80 degrees. And the last one, P, is 100 degrees. So when you measure it, you'll see that they are exactly the same. This is called, anyone can tell me the name of the shape, it is a parallelogram. A parallelogram. Okay.